Hey everybody, welcome back. Hey, we're going to go ahead and talk about the Yecom 5G router and see if it's right for you. Also, keep watching where I'm going to give you all the specs and performance with AT&T and Visible with my pros and cons at the end, of course. Now, if you haven't done it already, first, click that subscribe button and show that you're a part of this great community. All right, let's get going. Now, this Yecom 5G router is a powerful and versatile router that can provide fast and reliable internet access for homes and businesses. Now it supports the latest 5G technology so users can take advantage of the fastest possible speeds. The router also has a number of other features that might make a great choice for anyone looking for high quality home network solution. Now one of the biggest things about the Yecom 5G router is its speed. I mean, it supports speeds of up to 4.67 gigabits per second. Yeah which is much faster than most traditional broadband connections. So this means that users can stream high definition video, download large files, and play online games without any lag. As I said before, this router is versatile. It can be used in a variety of settings, including homes, businesses, and even outdoor areas. So far they say they've not had a carry that did not work. So it works with all carriers or at least 99% of them. It also has a long range antennas, so your users can get a strong signal even in remote areas. Now it doesn't have the exterior antenna connections, but with a few modifications it can. So let me know if you want me to make a video on how to add antenna leads so you can have exterior antennas. I also want to test their outdoor modem that can eliminate the need for the 4x4 memo antennas, but a compact unit for great for mounting on your roofie, or even better, a stationary mount on your RV. So there's no need to set it up every time. Sorry about that. I kind of took off there without a place to land on that one. Okay, back to it. In addition to its speed and versatility, the Yecom 5G router also has a number of other features that make it a great choice for home networking. Now it has a built-in firewall to protect users from online threats. It also has a parental control feature that allows parents to restrict their children's internet access. Now this 5G router combines a commercial grade wireless 5G NR and LTE A Cat 20. Brings you the ultra fast speed and stable 5G network. Now the Ecom 5G router is also backward compatible with 4G LTE networks and 3G networks and so forth. So you will pull in signal from all of those when, no matter where you're at, if you get any signal at all. Covering the mainstream frequency bands in North America and compatible with SA and NSA standards. Now this 5G Wi-Fi router, working with the major 4G and 5G providers such as AT&T and T-Mobile, the AX3600 and high-speed Wi-Fi 6 technology. Now this 5G Wi-Fi 6 AX3600 CPE router adopts the latest Wi-Fi 6 technology, the 802.11ax, which can provide more than 3.6 gigabits a second a transmission speed and uses the OFDMA technology to connect to more devices at the same time, making online content and game loading smoother. Now it's MU Memo technology, allows multiple devices and faster Wi-Fi connection at the same time. Let's go and unbox this thing. Yeah, the box seems to be sturdy enough and it comes, it's all printed with a lot of the, all the features and the specifications you need, uh, which is kind of nice. Uh, it, has, it comes with a nice quick start menu. It'll get you up and running in no time, I'm sure. Easy to read. Uh, it does come with a power cable along with the uh, cat5 the rj45 and then the router itself and you can see how well it's packed it it's they do a good job with this so this is what you get when you buy this now this is really a sleek looking unit if you you know you can put it anywhere and it's going to look great but let's go ahead and take a look and see what we got on the back here which is a power button a uh, phone over voice over LTE, which is kind of cool because if you have a service that provides that, uh, you know, you can plug a phone into that and be able to answer a phone through your router. <laughs> it's really cool. Uh, then the next one down, you're looking at the uh, 2.5 gigabits, uh, the RJ45 LAN 2 port, 
what is the one and then you have the LAN one is the port and that's a gigabit and then you have the power inlet now, it, looking at the bottom of it here, since we have it up, is you have the SIM card slot there where it'll take the micro, uh, which is kind of nice because everybody's doing that now instead, and that way you don't need any adapters. Uh, you do have a reset down here that you can use if you need to, and it also has a USB Type-C port at the bottom. Okay, let's go ahead and keep going now. Now the NR330 5G router supports multiple features, including TTL settings, band locking, a VPN, a mesh network, a QoS, a DDNS, etc. Now the Ecom 5G LTE router with its built-in six high gain wide bandwidth cellular antennas to enable a wide range of signal coverage. Here, let's go ahead and jump into the interface and do some speed tests that you're gonna wanna see how it works. If you didn't subscribe earlier, now would be a great time to. If I've given you any value, please click the thumbs up. It sure helps to let YouTube know to recommend me to others. All right, let's go ahead and take a look. Now after initial setup, you come to a home page where it is kind of a nice layout. Let's take a look at the basic settings here. Here you can change the name of the connections and passwords, which is kind of nice so you can keep it your own network. Next is the advanced settings, where you can even change the signal mode strength, like through the wall. <laughs> Next, you can set up the mesh network. Looking at the network settings, you can set the auto select 5G networks. Now the advanced settings is where you can make your connections. Now the Ecom has a good auto setup. It reads the SIM and it configures it for you, but you can also do this manually. You can also set up the TTL for carriers that may need that. <laughs> You know, so it looks like uh, it's a phone. As you can see, it has all the bands that you can lock in on if needed. Set your Ethernet settings here. Parental control for limiting access. You can set the days and weeks along with the start and stop time. You can set up your VPN here where you keep all your devices and personal information safe. Look in the video description for a quality VPN that I use. Next section is a system settings where you can dial in the router even more for your area or leave it alone on the default settings. They do a pretty good job at that. Now here you can also do a factory reset and a reboot, but be careful not to mix them up. Uh, they shouldn't have put them that close together, I think. Next is the system and mobile information along with signal quality information. Then back to the home page where you have a lot of information at a glance about performance. Unfortunately, wasn't getting any 5G in my area, so these next speed tests are only 4G. I think you all know I'm in a very rural area. Now first up is the AT&T with no VPN. And it has decent speeds, but not great. And this next one is with the VPN on AT&T and it does much better, but tells me though that when they say there's no throttling or caps, it does seem to happen from time to time. Next is a visible wireless test. Just so you know that my visible phone service, I get a little over one megabits per second and a little under that for uploads. But when closer to the tower is visible, is about 125 megabits per second and AT&T is about 170. If you get into the 5G area in my closest town, you can double and triple those numbers. Now I have a lot of viewers ask why the 5G routers cost what they do. Well, the 5G routers are expensive because of the cost of materials, technology, and design. The 5G routers use the latest technology which means they are more expensive to produce than traditional routers. 5G is typically the fastest mobile internet connection right now. Now let's go ahead and go over the pros and cons and how I see it. Now first up is really noticeable is the fast speeds. As mentioned before, the 5G router reaches up to speeds of 4.67 gigabits per second, which is much faster than most traditional broadband connections. The next pro that I see but can be improved on, but the Ecom 5G router has a long range antenna, which means that users can get a strong signal even in remote areas. Now this is great for people who live in rural areas or who travel frequently. Okay, going over a few of the cons here. 
Now, the expense. <laughs> now, I looked in all 5G routers, you know, quality 5G routers are pretty much comparable, but they're expensive. Now, they're more expensive than the traditional LTE 4G routers. However, it offers a number of features that may make it a good value for the price in my opinion, but I'm cheap. I mean, I only pay for whole home internet service and two cell services on two phones for a total of $35 a month. So I'm cheap. I'm thinking the con for me is I would appreciate it if it were a dual SIM. Now I know they have another model that has a dual SIM, but it's an industrial unit that's a little bit more money. Now, another one is not available in all areas. Now this is because 5G technology is still relatively new and not all cellular carriers have rolled it out yet. But that's not really a con on the router, but the cell service instead. But that's part of the problem right now. But if you are in an area that is still 4G, even 3G, having a good router will boost your service tremendously. Along with when you do get 5G service, you're gonna be ready and you will be amazed. Now let's just talk a little bit about the company. That's all the cons I actually have. But the company itself, now I've had the Yecom P21 4G router for a number of years now and have no complaints with it. Now, Yecom, the company, has been around for quite a while with very good tech support and quality components. Now, check them out for yourself. I have all the links in the description area, and I'll pin them in the comments area, too, for you. Hey, and I just want to say this one more time because I, wanna, I want you to know that I do appreciate all of you that have taken a moment to support me by subscribing and liking my video. You guys mean the world to me, and if there's anything I can do to help you, let me know.